That was intercepted by Isaac Trombley. His lead feed knocked down by Brooks. Bouncing puck will come to Cal Hughes, who will turn back onto it just inside the blue line and start ahead on the right wing. Hughes advancing his way across the blue line. Right wing side, dragging, shooting his Pridham. That was knocked down. Now walking in, Sean Colhane scores! Sean Colhane from the left faceoff circle after a shot by Pridham was blocked. It came right to Colhane in the middle, and he fires it past David on the glove side. The first shot of the game is in the back of the net for either team. Colhane's got his second, and the Warriors lead at 1-0. Left wing corner, reverts back to the half board. Cleve still with it now, back up to the left point. Left it along for Trombley. Trombley working around the check of Wilson. Throws it down low. Zenya Miles, the defender in deep. Miles works out right circle, back in front. A shot to the net, scores! It's Isaac Trombley right in front of the slot. As Trombley able to bury it with 5.32 to go in the open period. On the pass from Zenia Miles in the right circle, Trombley gets to the slot and beats Appleby on the glove side. And the Vipers have tied the game. It's 1-1. Five on four for four minutes here for the Vipers. And the Warriors get to that, to the blue line. Nordstrom can't clear. Elliott left point, high slot, Pastro. Right wing, Chubby scores! Adam Chubby with a rocket from the right face-off circle to drive it up and over the glove side of Rourke Appleby. Chubby's 19th goal of the season. The power play goal just 11 seconds into the double minor. And with 11 seconds to go in the period, gives Vernon a 2-1 lead. Hughes tried the rebound and tried to wrap it around from behind the net and could not get that one toward goal. Adam Chubby with the puck bounce on him. Gathering that up now as Caden Kim Karen Hummel gave it a long left side for Cohane. Off the end boards, he'll throw it in! He scores from center! Sean Cohane's tied the game! Cohane from center ice goes off the end boards, off of Ethan David, and into the back of the net! Cohane's got his second of the game, his third of the season. Down to the right wing corner, now it's Felix Caron. Ron to the right corner, trying to dig for that puck as it comes loose back along the right side. Karan bodied into the end boards. Still loose there, just off to the glove side of David back behind the net. Comes loose back along the left wing half board. Osmus tried to hold the puck in, but Vernon will take it the other way. Could be an on-man rush, three on two through center. Trombley right side, put to the front of the net, save, rebound, what a stop! Rorick Appleby comes across and makes a big save on Julian Fascinelli, and it keeps the game tied 2-2. Appleby from his left to his right to make a big right pad save on Fascinelli. Still picked off there as it's battled for just out in front of the Vernon bench. Come Karen Hummel will leave it there and brought back along by Hughes. Hughes makes his way back in down the left side. Still with it to the goal line. Hughes back behind the net. Right wing corner. Hughes right half board. Fighting through stick checks to get to the blue line. Hughes still with it. Walks to the left circle. He scores! Cal Hughes! Skates a marathon in the offensive zone and the finish line to the back of the net as he beats David with a tremendous effort and gives the Warriors a 3-2 lead. Vernon gives the puck up. Cal Hughes back with it in the slot. Holds left wing side. A shot scores. Jackson Kierkostas from the left circle on a pass from the right side by Hughes. Buries it past the glove side of David. Kierkostas gets the marker. He picks up goal 21 on the year. And it's a 4-2 West Kelowna lead. Another Viper turnover, costly in their own end. Come into Vernon three separate times this season and defeat the Vipers three separate times. West Kelowna wins it, 4-2 the final score. Rorick Appleby, 21 saves on 23 shots.